Hi everyone and welcome to Pilates. This is Cindy with Y Exercise and we're going to do a little over 30 minutes of Pilates. So if you haven't done it before, Pilates is wonderful for your core, your back, and really every part of your body. It's low impact and all you need is a mat. Let's get started standing on our mats. Good, we're gonna stand with our feet about hip distance apart. Nice long body. Let's start rolling the shoulders up and back. So start getting an awareness of the length in your body. Length all the way through your fingertips. Let's roll the other direction now, rolling forward. So when we do Pilates, we inhale through our nose and exhale through our mouth. We're gonna do all the traditional, well not all of them, but many of the traditional Pilates moves today. So you get a feel for what Pilates is like, and then if you've done it before, it'll bring back great memories and you can Enjoy them with me. All right, we're gonna just lengthen the arms really long. Feel the fronts of the legs really engage them. All toes pointing forward. We're gonna reach all the way up. I really want you to reach those arms nice and long and then exhale down. Good, inhale up. Good, feel the legs all the way from your feet to your fingertips. Here we go, inhale up. Exhale down. Good, this time as you inhale up, I really want you to open the front of your body, reach. Exhale down. Awesome, inhale up, let's hold it up. Let's look up towards the sky and really want you to open the front of the body, reach the shoulders down and back, and exhale down. Great, inhale up. This time, take your right arm and reach it down towards the mat and look towards it so you feel a little slight bend in your side here, then inhale up. Let's go to the other side. Exhale down. Repeat that, inhale up, exhale down. A little bit quicker, inhale up, exhale down. How about one more on each side? Exhale down, hopefully you can bend a little bit more maybe. Exhale down, good, inhale up. Let's hold this side, look towards that hand, really reach. Engage the front of your legs. Inhale up, back to center, and let's reach and hold to the other side. Inhale up. Good, we're gonna reach up and look up again towards the sky, maybe a little bit higher in between your arms. Again, Engage the fronts of your legs, feel the strength. Slight little back bend. Good, look forward, put your hands on your thighs and just look towards me. We're bending down, kind of like a chair pose here, keeping the chest open and hold. If you would like, we add a reach of the arms. So the feet are close together, just a few inches apart. Keep them there. Sit down like there's a chair behind you. Keep holding. Four, three, two, one. Good job. We're gonna inhale up. And this time we're gonna add a lift to the heels and hold. Good, 
Exhale down, arms come back. This time they're gonna reach back behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades, pulse your arms a little bit here. So palms are facing each other, reach. Squeeze the shoulder blades, sit down. Four, three, two, one. Good job, reach back up. Heels come up, find your balance. For four, those fronts of the legs are really strong. Three, two, one. Very good, let's take it down. Awesome, we're gonna widen our legs. Toes out to the corners, good. And we're just gonna add a little bend of the knees, bring the hips down, keep that upper body nice and tall. Let's take it up and down. Four, three, two, one. Good, stay down. Let's lift one heel and the other heel. All right, so this is when you're starting to engage your core, right? You feel it? You're gonna feel it even more as we add a little balance to this. Good, let's do both heels up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Four more, you could do it. Three, two, one. Can we take it up and hold it for four, three, two, one? Excellent. Back down. Now let's reach up. Down, reach up. Good. All right, so I think we have. A nice bit of warmth in our bodies now. So most of Pilates, we're doing a little bit of a standing sequence in Pilates, but most of it is on the mat, lying down. But I'm starting us off with a nice warm up standing. Good, two more. Awesome. Let's bring those feet back together. And I'm going to face away from you just so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to add a balance move to finish our warm up. All right. So let's take your right leg. I want you to lift it up and then reach the arms up is one of my favorite moves. It really gets us focused. So find that spot. Knee reaching in front of you. All right. We're going to bring the arms back behind you as the leg reaches as well. So leg and arms reach. And you come to a bit of a table position here. Good, we're gonna to transition to that standing knee and then back to the leg reaching and back. Here we go. Knee forward. <clears throat> Hinge and reach back. Knee forward. Hinge and reach back. We're gonna do one more. You're doing great. Knee forward. One last reach. Awesome, and then we come back to center. Good. All right, let's do the other side. Let's bring that left knee up. Find that balance and focus. Reach the arms. All right, arms reach forward, leg reaches back. Nice and slow for the first one, hold. Good, now we're gonna add that movement. Ready, here we go. Up with the knee. And back. Up with the knee. And back. Up with the knee. 
reach back. All right, we're gonna do one more. Up with the knee. Reach it back. Good, that was your last one. Up with the knee. And back to center. Awesome. We're gonna come down to the mat. All right. So go ahead and bring one leg behind. And let's slowly come down. All right. So we always have lots of options here as we are on the mat. At times I'm gonna have my arms behind me with my fingertips facing me, just a few inches behind my hips and to the sides. You can always use the option of bringing your elbows down as well. That's a little bit easier. And then you can always lie all the way down as your third option. I like to have lots of modifications, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's start out with nice long legs. Reach your fingertips. All right, we're gonna do a traditional move here, rolling up and down through the spine, gluing your legs to the mat. We're gonna start rolling back nice and slow and make a nice curve in your spine, bringing one vertebrae down at a time. Then inhale, once you come all the way down, reach those arms overhead, reach them to the ceiling. We're gonna roll up first with your chin to your chest. Roll up. Ah, it feels so good. Reach past your toes. Good, let's roll back down. One vertebrae at a time, inhale, lengthen. Roll it back up, chin to chest. Look towards your toes, reach your fingertips past your toes. Try to get your head between your ears. Rolling back down for four, three, two, one, and inhale, exhale, come up. Roll down. It's a nice massage for the spine, inhale. Reach the fingertips up, roll it up. Good. Reach past the toes, maybe a little bit further each time. Roll down. Inhale. Here we go, rolling up. Roll down. We're going to do one more and we're going to hold that reach. You ready? Chin to chest. Exhale as you come up. And then hold this reach. Look towards your toes. And then down to, towards your knees if you can come and fold a little bit further. Hold it here. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna sit nice and tall. Reach those arms up. Good. All right, here's where we're going to put our arms right beside us. Again, you have that elbow option as well. All right, we're gonna to come to tabletop with our legs. Slight bend in our elbows, or again, down on your elbows, options here. All right, at tabletop, your knees are together, as are your ankles. So see this nice straight line here and here, 90 degree angle right here. That's what we're aiming for, okay. Peel the shoulders open, nice open chest. Good, hold it here. So I want you to start hugging the knees in towards your chest. You're already feeling this, you should be. As you squeeze the knees together, open the chest, good. All right, we're gonna lengthen one leg and then switch. So we lengthen right above the mat. We lengthen and then pull that other knee in. See if you can get it towards your chin. How about that? All right, we're gonna make this a little bit quicker. Ready? Reach, reach. Awesome. All right, keep those hands engaged. Arms are working a little bit here. If they're on your hands. All right, are you using your Pilates breath? Inhale, nose, exhale, mouth. Find your breath with this. Good, we're gonna do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice, both knees in. Awesome, now everyone's gonna come down on the elbows. Great. 
We're gonna reach the legs nice and long. Hold them here, keep that chest open. Look towards your knees, let's roll all the way down. So you're on your back. All right, here's where we have some more options again. You can bend the knees, come back to that tabletop. Arms are alongside your body, palms down, or you reach the legs up, open them. So you form a little V from your heels to your toes. All right, Pilates 100s. So we bring the upper body up, chin to the chest, reach past your fingertips towards the end of your mat. Legs can come down a little bit if you want. Pulse the hands. So we pulse as we inhale and then exhale. Good, right, so this is called Pilates 100s. Great way to fire up that core. Keep pulsing so my shoulders are down. I'm reaching the arms really long, all the way to the fingertips, so no flapping. It's nice and controlled. Good, keep on going. You're almost there. Lengthen the legs if you have them long. How about eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. We hug the knees in towards the chest as our break. In between each move. Okay, let's warm up the spine a bit. I want you to place both feet on the mat. Take your arms out to the side with your palms down. We're gonna do some windshield wiper legs. So with the knees bent, we're gonna bring them over to one side and then over the other side. One side, other side. Keep on going side to side. Good, how about four more? And three, and two, and one. Awesome, we're gonna lengthen our legs. Bring the arms alongside your body again. We're gonna do some circles. Okay, so lift up that leg that's closest to me. Reach it up. Nice and long, we're gonna start with a nice long body. Other leg is on the mat. All right, we're gonna take a big circle out to the side and then cross the body and up. So out to the side, cross the body and up. Again, inhale nose, exhale mouth. It's great for the hips. And up. Let's do four more. And three. Let's do two. One, hold that leg up there. Let's go the other direction. Ready? You got it nice and long and reaching to the sky. Let's reverse it around. Good, let's do four more, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, take that leg, hug it in. Let's wrap our hands around the bottom of your knee, below your knee. All right, we're gonna do single leg stretch now, okay? You can keep your back and head on the floor, or you can roll that upper body up Chin to chest, look past your mat, just like with those Pilates 100s. And a couple options here. Keep one hand on either side of the leg. So this hand is on the inside of your ankle, other one on the outside. And then we just keep switching back and forth. So we switch and switch. All right, so your harder option is to use no arms. Reach and reach. Good, let's do four more on each side, four. Lengthen that other leg and then the knee hugs in towards the chest. Two, this is hard work, huh? One, very nice, bring both knees in. 
All right, always our resting place. Awesome. Lengthen both legs on the mat. Let's switch to the other leg with our circles. So other leg reaches up. Good, we're gonna go out to the side first. Out, around and up. Out, around and up. So you're drawing a circle as big as you can make it while keeping those hips on the floor with your toes around, around. Let's do four more, four more, four, and three, and two, and one. Good, we're gonna reverse it, here we go. In towards your body, then around it up, in, round and up. So nice control here in your core, up. Let's do four more, ready, four, three, and two, last one, awesome, hug that knee in, get ready for that single leg pull with a bent knee, all right, on your back or peel that upper body up, feel one hand on the inside of your ankle, other on the outside, switch and switch, inhale nose, exhale mouth, Four more here. Four, three. Remember, reach the arms a little more challenging. Two, one. Excellent. Hug those knees in. Good. We're gonna roll like a ball now. One of my favorite moves. So let's put our hands behind our thighs. Hug them in. Roll up to come to seated. Okay. We're gonna roll like a ball. We're gonna keep our hands under the thighs, or a little more challenging, I want you to reach your upper body up a little bit higher and come to your hands on your ankles. All right, from here, we're gonna come to a little ball here. So you wanna look towards your ankles, roll your body into this nice little tight ball. Again, hands on thighs or ankles. We're gonna roll back just until you get to your upper back, then come back up and hold. The first one is always the hardest, up and hold. And we wanna keep that hold, up and hold. Hold it there, open the chest. When you come up, look forward, and then look down when you roll back. Good, fun little move, rolling like a ball. Let's do two more. Roll, good. One more, and then we're gonna hold it up here, up top. Good, hug it in a little bit closer. Awesome, bring those feet down. Put your hands back behind you as we did before. Nice bent elbows. Come back to that tabletop. Open your chest. Legs are gonna reach out, then back in. So this time the legs are staying together. Awesome. Good, we're gonna do four more. Four, three, good, two more, two. Very nice. Hug it and place both feet down. I want you to turn to face me and lengthen your legs out long. Good. We're gonna do some twists here along with a lot of side work. All right, let's reach the arms out to the side. And make sure your sit bones are behind you. So kind of pull them back and reach forward. Imagine that chest opening. All right, we're gonna turn towards the right. Look towards that back arm and come back to center. And then let's go left and center. Here we go, right and center. Right and center. Good. 
Let's bring our hand, fingertips to our elbows. Now let's do the same thing, twist side to side. Ready, here we go. Let's twist and center, twist and center. Those elbows out to the side, open chest. Good, four more, four, three, and two, and one. Good, pause here. We're gonna do a little roll with the body, so keep the legs out, and I want you to look down towards the mat and roll your body back so you form a little curve. And then I want you to reach your chest forward, Elbows come out to the side, so looking past your head here. And then we're going to reverse it. Ready? Keep those elbows out, so we're working the chest to roll it back. And then sit up nice and tall. All right, so let's do it in one nice fluid movement. Remember your breath. Here we go. Back. And roll forward and reach. Back. And then straight up. Good. Back. Engage your core. Reach forward as far as you can go. And then curl back. And then up. Good. Let's do a couple more. And reach. And back. And nice and tall. Good. One more. Back. Reach forward. And back and tall. Good. Now we're going to take the arms out to the side. We're going to do saw. So we're all warmed up for saw. And we're going to go ahead and do that turn towards your right. And this time we're going to take that front arm, reach it towards your pinky toe. So you might need to bring your legs in a little bit. See how it goes. Reach. Keep those arms nice and long. Then come straight back up to the side and then center. Let's try the other one, slow. Let's turn to the left. Pinky to pinky toe. Come back up and center. Here we go, side to side, over and reach. Up and center. Over, stay twisted, stay twisted, then center, good. Inhale, up and over. Keep it going, over, and center. Let's do one more. Awesome. Let's reach the arms up nice and long. Bring those legs together. Good, we're gonna do a forward fold. So go ahead and bring that upper body towards me. Look past your toes. I oh, feel that wonderful stretch. We're going to roll back up. We're going to come on to our bellies. Get a nice workout for the back of our bodies. Let's start out with a mini cobra. So I want you to lengthen your legs. Bring your hands right under your shoulders. Hug those elbows in towards your body. And inhale up. Using that back strength. Slight little reach here. Take it down. I want you to tuck your toes. Keep your knees down or lengthen the tops of your legs. We're gonna push up into a plank. A little Pilates plank. Here we go. Push it all the way up. Awesome. Hold it here. Let's come forward a little bit, then back. Forward a little bit, then back. For four, good, three, two, and one. Awesome, we're gonna lower it all the way down on your knees or your toes, nice and slow. Good, and then let the chest come down, okay. We're gonna take the arms, we're gonna bring them around 
onto your back, your lower back, with your palms facing up, elbows drop out to the side. Flex your feet, I want you to start kicking, and then lengthening. So two kicks in, and then lengthen the legs. All right, we're gonna add the arms to this. All right, so intertwine your fingers, palms facing up, we're gonna do two kicks. And then when we lengthen, we're gonna go ahead and open those arms out and away from you, okay? Here we go, two kicks and lengthen. Here we go, two kicks and lengthen. Two kicks, lengthen. Let's do four more. And three. Two more. Last one and hold. Here we go, hold it here for four, three, two, one. Very nice, let the body come down. Reach your arms forward, long on the mat. We're gonna reach everything up, fingers, tips and arms and toes and legs. And we're just gonna pulse here. One of my favorite little movements here. So simple, but great for the back of your body. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Hands, just like we did before, and for mini cobra right under those shoulders. We're gonna push up. We're gonna come to child's pose. Push your hips back and then lengthen the upper body out. Good, let's come up. We're gonna go ahead and come back onto our backs. Place the feet on the mat, knees hip distance apart. And I would like you to bring your arms alongside your body. We're gonna do some movements and bridge. So make sure those feet are nice and strong on the mat. Start rolling your hips up, all the way up. Reaching the middle of your body like there's a string attached to your belly button. And it's being pulled up to the sky. Good. Hold it here. Awesome, all right, keep pushing with the feet, feel that strength, and here's an option if you would like it. Let's take one leg and reach it up towards the sky. Hold it there. Don't forget your breath. Good, bend that knee, place it down. And let's reach the other leg up as an option. And remember, if you need to, you can roll down and then come back up and join me. Keep pushing up. Remember that string in your belly button. Good, bend. Place that foot down. Good, we're gonna slowly roll down, first with that upper back. Rolling it down, good. We're gonna roll back up, and this time we're gonna do some pulses with this reach of the hips. Squeeze the glutes, good. We're just gonna roll down, and then push back up. Good, four more. Three, and two, one, hold it up here, good. Slowly roll down. I want you to take your knees out to the side, bring the bottoms of your feet together, and roll up from here. So bridge, again, pull the belly button up, those knees out to the sides. 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna bring it down and up. So the great thing about Pilates is it works every part of your body. It's low impact. Even though we're working hard, we're breathing hard, right? And we feel every part of our body working. And we learn how to control that breathing for, and we need to, three. Awesome, two more. Hold and reach. Slowly roll down, hips last. Good, bring those knees together and hug them in. Let's straighten both legs up towards the sky. One last move here. Again, upper body can stay on the floor or bring it up. And let's take your hands on one leg, bring it in towards the chest and then straighten the other one towards the floor. All right, well, nice stretch here. Let's enjoy this for a little bit. Again, you could be here or you can be here. Maybe a little higher reach in the leg too. Join the stretch. Let's switch sides. Don't let that other leg come down on the mat, lengthen it. Now let's keep stretching. So there's a single leg pull with a straight leg now. All right, we're ready. We're gonna do those switches. Remember your options. You can always lengthen the arms and don't use them. Here we go. Switch, switch. Keep your shoulders down. Keep that length. Bend your legs for eight, seven, six, five. You're doing great. Long legs, three, two, and one. Awesome, roll that upper body down, hug the knees in. Good, we're gonna do a few stretches to finish up. So bring the feet back down on the mat, arms out to the side. Remember those windshield wiper legs that you did? Well, let's take the knees over to one side and hold them there. Let them drop. Take the top legs, the one that's on top, I want you to take that foot and bring it around to the top of the other leg. Do a little cross going on here. Crossing and then placing your foot on the floor, ankle touching onto your thigh. Good, let's push off from there. Keep that foot on top of your knee, flex it, place your bottom leg on the mat. And then I want you to hug both legs in. If you want to, you can bring your upper body up, hug it in a little bit tighter. Make sure this knee is coming out to the side, flex your foot. Great, and if you lifted at that bottom leg, place it down, unwrap, both knees back, let's come over to the other side. Feel that release in your back. And when you're ready, take that top leg, bring the foot around, place it over your other leg. Open the knee, all right. We're gonna rotate up, keep that ankle on your knee. Come up to center, place your other foot on the mat. Flex your foot, open the knee up to the side, and maybe you hug the other leg in. Place that leg down on 
twist and then lengthen both legs and arms. I want you to reach in all directions. Worked that core, so let's stretch it out. We're gonna do one last roll up. Fingertips reach up towards the ceiling, bring that spine to the floor, inhale. And exhale, roll up, one last reach past the toes. And then come back to center. Great, let's go ahead and come to standing, finish up just like we started. Good, should feel better now. All right, inhale up. Let's bring the palms to prayer, bring it center. Good, let's start folding forward. So hinge the upper body forward, come to a nice flat back and then pause there. So while you're here, I want you to really lengthen the crown of the head forward, look straight down at the floor. Squeeze the shoulder blades, you should feel a wonderful stretch. Great, now we're gonna release the arms down towards the floor and go ahead and roll the rest of the spine down. Just let those arms hang, head hang. Let's bend one knee, then the other knee, side to side. Great, lengthen both legs. We're gonna roll up just like a rag doll, letting the arms relax. Let me come back up to center, inhale up. Exhale down, good job. All right, great job with Pilates today. And hopefully we'll be doing some more Pilates coming up soon, so join me again. I'm Cindy, and this was Why Exercise. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, everyone.